So Samsung has just launched its mighty Galaxy S10 Plus smartphone and from the bit of time I've spent with it I've got to admit I am loving this shiny sexy slam very much. But how does it compare with my favourite phone of 2018, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro? Well, it's a false side-by-side -side comparison, so you can decide for yourself. And don't forget, for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So as far as design goes, yeah, these two are absolute beasts. You got the 6.4 inch S10 Plus versus the 6.39 inch Mate 20 Pro, so they are definitely a handful and a half. In terms of weight, there's not much in it, 175 grams versus 189 grams for the Mate 20 Pro, and they're both constructed of glass, although Samsung does also offer the option of a ceramic model, which should be even more rugged. And as you can see, both smudge up an absolute storm. Definitely keep a clean and cloth on standby. The S10 Plus sports the latest version of Gorilla Glass and it definitely seems a little bit more hardy in terms of resistant scratches. But the good news is that both that and the Huawei phone are IP68 water and dust resistant. As for colour options, you get a variety on both. Although of course the Mate 20 Pro does offer that sexy gradient backing. But it's purely on looks, we reckon that the Mate just about inches it. And on another design tip, you do get a 3.5mm headphone jack on the S10 Plus, but not so much on Huawei's handset, you'll need to use a dongle. Now while the Mate 20 Pro rocks a fairly sizeable moustache notch up top, Samsung's Infinity O display reduces that selfie camera to an elongated punch hole, so almost the entire front of the phone is basically just screen. Both Huawei's OLED panel and Samsung's AMOLED screen are well suited to movies, packing a typical stretched aspect ratio and Quad HD Plus resolution for super crisp visuals. Color reproduction is suitably punchy and can be scaled on either smartphone. However, while the Mate 20 Pro offers full HDR streaming support from the likes of Netflix, Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus goes one step further with the manufacturer's own HDR10 Plus tech. This can scale the brightness to match the visuals and produce a full range of colours at all times for impressively realistic visuals. And while both mobiles boast an in-display fingerprint sensor, the S10 Plus has a more advanced 3D tech which can properly read every ridge on your skin. This makes it super reliable even when your fingers are wet or greasy, while also making it tougher to fill with a 2D image. On the flip side though, the Mate 20 Pro boasts proper 3D facial recognition thanks to its depth sensing camera. This is both more accurate and secure than Samsung's simple 2D facial recognition. As for the software on board, both the S10 Plus and the Mate 20 Pro boast the latest Android Pie, but in very different guises. That's because the Mate 20 Pro rocks Huawei's own Emotion UI overlay, while the Galaxy S10 Plus uses Samsung's One UI. These overlays change the general look and feel of the phones and offer a variety of bonus features on top. Thank Christ above that a one-handed mode is offered by both the Huawei and the Samsung to make things quite a bit easier. These phones both offer gesture shortcuts and a digital well-being nanny thing that tells you to stop using your phone and go smell a flower or pet a puppy. And they also pack in health tracking, resource management, basically loads of stuff. It would take hours to go through it all, so let's just move on. And instead we'll cover the important issue of speed. Huawei's Mate 20 Pro packs in the manufacturer's own Kirin 980 chipset, while Samsung has stuffed in its Exynos 9820 platform into the S10+. Plus. The good news is that both blowers boast premium performance as you would expect. Of course, the Galaxy S10 Plus comes with a choice of 8 or 12 gigs of RAM if you ramp it up to that ceramic version, which is frankly nuts, while the Mate 20 Pro offers a rather more modest 6 to 8 gigs. Both phones can tear through games like PUBG Mobile with zero sweat broken, especially the Mate 20 Pro with that excellent GPU turbo feature, and they shouldn't show any signs of slowdown for the foreseeable. As for benchmarking, I haven't been able to personally test the S10 Plus on that front, but leaked Geekbench scores show only a partial improvement over the older Mate 20 Pro. They're actually more or less tied when it comes to that multi-core result. As for the battery tech, this one's pretty much a tie as well. You get a mighty 4200mAh cell stuffed inside the Mate 20 Pro compared with a 4100mAh in Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus. Both support fast wireless charging and you even get reverse wireless charging on both as well to help out a maid whose battery is about to die. You can basically share your own phone charge with them by smushing your and their phone together like horny teenagers. On the storage tip, the S10 Plus comes with a base level of 128 gigs, but you can upgrade to half a terabyte or even a full terabyte if you want to really splash the cash. In comparison, the Mate 20 Pro rocks either 128 or 256 gigs of storage. And while Samsung's blowers can be expanded up to a further 512 gigs using standard micro SD memory cards, in the case of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, you have to use Huawei's own standard memory cards instead, which are admittedly very nippy indeed. Samsung also wins for connectivity with full support for Wi-Fi 6 on board. And if you're the patient type, you can hang around until summer 2019 to grab a 5G variant. 
So onto the camera tech, and Samsung has copied Huawei's triple lens setup on the back end for a super flexible shooting experience. Both phones rock an ultra wide angle shooter as well as a telephoto snapper to bolster that primary lens. The specs are very different, however, as you can see here, but the overall experience is basically the same, with the option to quickly swap between the three lenses to suit your shot. You get smart scene recognition with both handsets, which tweaks the look of your photo depending on the subject's matter. For low light shots, the Mate 20 Pro has a dedicated night mode, which can capture great looking long exposure snaps. There's no such mode on the S10 Plus, although Samsung's dual aperture setup allows you to widen the primary lens's aperture of f1.5 when needed to suck in extra light for a brighter shot. And if you swap to the video mode, you can shoot up to 4K resolution video with either device, although only the S10 Plus can record Ultra HD footage with a 60 frames per second finish. And Samsung offers a fresh HDR mode for video as well, something missing on the Mate 20 Pro. And you can even shoot in Samsung's own dynamic HDR 10 Plus format. Swap around to the front facing cameras and you get a 24 megapixel f2.0 selfie cam on the Mate 20 Pro, compared with a 10 megapixel f2.0 shooter on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And while the S10 sports a secondary depth sensor, the Mate upgrades this to a proper full on 3D depth sensor, handy for that 3D facial recognition. Both phones can shoot a portrait selfie with solid results, while the S10 Plus also offers up full 4K resolution video capture. Sadly, the Mate tops this off at Full HD instead. To really see how these two smartphones stack up when it comes to the photo and video quality and all those camera features, definitely stay tuned for my in-depth camera comparison. So right there is a close look at the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, all their various features and specs to see which one might be best for you. Are you tempted by one or the other? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. It'll be great to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you.